Hey guys, Mr. Fresh Album here, and I'm here with my tethered jailbreak slash semi untethered, if we have time, of my iPhone 3GS on 5.1. 5.1 has just been re uh, was released yesterday, and along with that, it was the same day as the iPad 3 was announced and everything in the Apple event. And 5.1 is supposedly having to have some great features like battery life, which Really, I, I don't see any improvements. I'm not even jailbroken, and um, has great, great features like uh, I can just pull up like that, and it'll show me the camera instead of just pressing the button. But that's like another way to unlock your device. And um, I've heard of other people who have the are in the area of HSPA plus, which is the area where. If you're there, you get 4G. You can get the 4G icon on the 3G icon. Like, it replaces it, but you don't get 4G speed. That's just... Because iPad 3 is going to get 4G, and they're just trying to prepare you and stuff for that. So, first of all, for this jailbreak, I'm done rambling. Um, you're going to need Red Snow. That's the only thing you're going to need. You're also going to need iTunes, obviously, so it can detect your device. And an IPSW if um, you need to restore and not... Want to update whatever? Just the most important thing is red snow. So just open it up. All right, my computer is really, really, really slow. All right, and then open red snow. Let's close this. All right. All right, so let's just click jailbreak. Hold up, let me just read this. Now. I've never seen this in Red Snow. Now it's even updated that it will detect your device. Oops. It even detects your device right on the home screen. So let's just click jailbreak. It has this no stuff. Like for iPhone 4 and iPad 2. I don't think you, they're tethered yet. I'm not sure. I just know of all the older devices can be tethered now. It says if you have an iPhone 4S or iPad 2, please connect it in normal mode, iTunes mode now. That I'm not sure of. But um, for here. It won't let you proceed unless you turn off your device. So it has to be plugged in and turned off. Now we're gonna put in DFU mode. I think it's going to let me like I can start now, but I'll show you guys right now. Hold the power button for three seconds, then hold the home button and the power button for ten seconds. I know it's by memory, but sometimes I follow it because sometimes my computer doesn't detect it and then hold it for like 10 seconds before your computer detects it the whole button alright it's in DFU mode but the so it's gonna say it didn't detect it because my computer I have it has this computer I have is brand new and it hasn't detected it in DFU mode so I'll come back to you guys once it's in DFU mode. Okay, it's already in DFU mode. Now it's uploading the first stage. Now it's detecting it again. Ah, <sighs> my God. And there. Okay, your screen might go black. And then now, which is the most important part, comes in to play. It's gonna upload the RAM disk and firmware. It's gonna do its thing so it can give you the categories in Soul City, which is that's what we're going to do just in Soul City. The other things like it says multitasking gestures, you see right now, and other things you can edit, but also the stuff you need to get from City. So why install it now? You're just gonna clog up your device of memory. Oh no, I guess not. So you just install City, custom mod for other things, just the iPad base is for unlockers and deactivate. Let's just install Cydia 5.1 and edit proceed. And do not touch your device or the rest while it's doing this because one screw up will screw up your de device. If you see like a lot of codes flowing into your device, leave it alone. Don't unplug it. Don't get scared because if you touch your device while well, that happens, it gets messed up, which has happened to me. I don't know how many times I've messed up my device that way. And it, it's just crazy how many times I messed up my device that way. Like, I would get headaches and everything just seeing my device that wouldn't be turned on. But right now, it'll either give you that, see, it's jailbroken. 
See, look at all those codes are away. She's gonna load the clothes and then it's gonna go back the codes and then it's gonna go to pineapple screen. The jailbreak for your device is currently test this means to make you jailbreak programs, but so what this means is that every time you turn off your device you have to go back here, go to extras, which I'll show you right now, and click just boot. Extras, just boot. What that means is that once you it's not on tether, so that means once you turn on your device, you can't turn it back on unless you click just boot. Unless you have my way, which is after I finish your break, I'm going to show you that also how to get it semi tethered. So, uh, come back to you guys once the jailbreak is finished. Hey guys, the jailbreak just finished. Device is on, slide to unlock. And there is Cydia, and it's on a white icon right there. So what that really means, that will go away once you open it for the first time. See, it's not opening. My bad, that was my fault. It's not open because now you have to boot it tethered. That's the whole point now. So let's just click boot tethered. Turn off your device and then put it back in DFU mode. Really, I have to say that, you know, muscle nerd all you guys, you've made this jailbreak even better because now it detects it and everything. It's amazing. I'm going to put it on DFU mode beforehand. So I don't have to go through the processes because I do it real fast. And once it's in DFU mode, it will detect it and continue. And that right here, you see the pineapple? You'll see it's every time you boot tethered, which I really like. Before, I think the pineapple was different when you boot tethered, but now it's in color. I think before it was like not in color. I don't exactly remember, but get used to this because until the untether will come out, which will take a while, they'll probably release the untethered jailbreak once the iPad 3 is out, or the iPad, which is what they call it. Hey guys, wait one sec. Hey guys, <laughs> um, right here is the semi untethered, which you can find this at Library, Rim and Pie, any place that covers jailbreak. Now I'm gonna show you guys to get semi untethered. Semi untethered lets you reboot, bypass the tethered process, and lets you reboot your device, but you won't be able to use jailbreak certain apps, and you won't be able to use Safari yet. Later, they're gonna update it with Safari because that's the same thing happened with 5.0. And 5.0.1 jailbreak that you can use Safari, then later they did. So, first of all, you have to go to sources and add this source the big boss dot semi untethered, which I have right here. Focus, focus, focus. There, let me see if I can do this right there. The one, the one that says big boss dot or you click that one. Focus and then you install semi untethered. The source will be in the description for you guys to get it. So with Red Snow and if you guys need any help, just comment in the description and everything. Um this is the end of this video, but I wanted to ask you guys one more thing. Um have you ever restored your device recently after a jailbreak and then jailbreak again and found all your sources back? Which that's just happened to me. All my sources that I had from yesterday when I restored or when I updated were right here. And I th and this happened before with the iOS 5 jailbreak and 5.0.1 jailbreak. I believe that that happens because of that iCloud gets the jailbreak information. Like open backup has that the process that you can send it to the cloud and everything. So I think that's how I did it. Whatever. Comment if you like this video, like it, comment what problems, I'll fix them for you. Alright, so this is Mr. Flashy Diablo, signing off.